need to know. No, I, we got people downstairs on? saying that you don't live here and they don't want you in here. Oh, Westbound popular. We're going to be getting onto a freeway here. Stand by for direction. Eastbound Del Piro Freeway 611. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to DOJ. Jumping in here, doing some law enforcement with the Los Santos Police Department in the Ford Explorer. There is snow on the ground, which means that we're going to be using a lot of the SUVs and Explorers and, and trucks and stuff like that, which I'm excited for because it kind of gives us a reason or an excuse to use them uh, quite often, which is going to be nice because who doesn't like some good SUV action and all that stuff? Uh, but instead of me going on, it's going to be a Los Santos patrol today. So let's just go ahead and jump into it and see what we can get into. Okay, so at this moment, we got ourselves a um, supervisor request for a possible home invasion that's going on. I do like these ones because these ones can always be quite interesting. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... Oh, that's what they were running out to, Code 3. I saw two uh, deputies rolling out Code 3 earlier. And that's exactly what it was for then. Because this is exactly the way that they were heading. Uh, Spoonbill's setting up in there with the uh, Tahoe. And I would assume that he's going to roll out that way when he gets done. Uh, it looks like it's going to be in the area of Mirror Park. They have multiple interiors that you can enter over there. Okay, downgrading in the area. Uh, we're going to even turn off the lights too, even though I'm sure there's multiple units out front. But just in case. I got to figure out exactly what house it's going to be at. Holy mother of people. Hey, there's a bike on scene here at this property. Got blue coming in. They're going to be uh, in this house. Hello. How you doing? Are they going to be in this house right here? They should be. Uh, my alarm went off. Okay, didn't I speak with you earlier? Yes. Okay. What happened? Do you want to tell me exactly what happened here? Upstairs bedroom. Well, I was cycling and then I got an alert on my phone that uh, my house alarm Okay, 24. I'm going to sit outside with the uh, caller. Okay. And did you see anyone in go in or anything like that? Or just your alarm went off? I saw some, like, shadow inside, but because I don't have any weapons, I didn't want to go in. Okay. This isn't one of your talk tick videos or something, is it? No, no, no. Okay. Because that definitely wouldn't be good. No, it wouldn't. Uh, the house is clear. Fuck sakes. He said fuck sakes. Uh, do you know what they look like? Uh, were they driving any vehicle that you saw? I've got a doorbell camera. Let me check. Ah. So at this moment, there was no one. So no one inside. Nobody. Okay. Nobody so. in the house. Yeah, yeah. And how long was your guys's, uh, how quick was your guys' response time here after the call came Two out? Two minutes. He was already yeah, on scene, though, so... Okay. So he definitely could have had time to... Or the person could have had time to leave by the time that you guys got yeah, here. Yeah, possibly. If they were very quick, yes. Did he say that that was his bike? Did, uh, have we not got he that far? Yeah, that clear to me. He, yeah, he didn't make that clear to me. Because uh, if that's not his bike, then that possibly could be... The robbers? I know the subject's name who called 911. I've dealt with him before. Fast. Yeah, I was. I spoke with him as well, too. He was filming some stuff last time I came here. Can, can, can I just backtrack really quick? Because I'm a little confused. So were sure. you, like, on your bike or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you, that's your bike. You were on your bike. You were away from your home. The alarm went off. You got a notification on your phone. You came back and then called the police? Yeah. Okay. And how long did it take you to get home from the time the notification went off and then you arrived home? 40 seconds. 40 seconds, okay. And did you go inside? No. No, you just stayed outside and called 911? Yeah. Okay. Because I don't have a gun. And you said you saw a figure in there? Yeah, I saw something, but I didn't see a face. And you also are saying that your vehicle was stolen? Yeah. Okay, where was it parked in the driveway? It was literally right there, yeah. Okay, and you said the keys were inside? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then the car's gone. All right, so... Kinda, it's kind of making sense up. a little bit more now, so... What year? I'm going to uh, get the air unit to look out for that vehicle. Okay, sounds... Hey, Spoonbo, why don't you relax on the tobacco and 
go check the streets for the vehicle. We're taking off from the uh, robbery call. The um, suspect stole the vehicle from the person that we dealt with last episode, who was here filming the talk tick video. And um, this charger needs to pay attention a little. So we're gonna go ahead and take off. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and attempt to locate the vehicle. I'm not gonna go searching for it. We're gonna hopefully just, you know, try to find it passively or anyone as they're patrolling, so that way we can just get the vehicle. Um, but I guess, I don't know, he just he seems to have the worst luck in this uh, little cul-de-sac that he lives in here, because uh, it just seems to all be bad. Everyone's calling the police on him. He's getting shit stolen from his property. That lady is out wearing practically nothing, biking in the snow whatever i guess is interesting to them uh so hopefully we can find this person that is terrorizing this guy i mean it shouldn't be too difficult to find uh but we just have to have a patrol unit do it so hopefully we can come across them walking 24 i can head that way what was the postal it's gonna be 707 uh, i believe invention court uh down in del Perro. copy and route uh we have a supervisor request for the possible vehicle that has been found we're getting the air unit uh we're just gonna check the area and make sure that the subject or the uh vehicle hasn't been uh ditched over in that area i think they're getting uh tracking on it i'm not entirely sure i was sitting at the gas station if um i find one see any uh, vehicle matching the Lamborghini description this time, uh, 0707. Right now we're heading over to a possible location the vehicle might be. Air unit just swooped by and said they did not see any vehicle that matches that description. So possibly the vehicle has left already, but at least that shows that the vehicle's still on the ground and it's still moving, so that's a plus. Uh, we are not too far. That's going to be the location where the air unit's out over there. Yeah, we're going to be 23 here soon. I got Spoonbill behind me in a Tahoe. Silver Lexus. I do not think that's correlated at all, to be honest. And it's going to be inside the dock area too. 707, uh, I think they said. Gonna be seven, five, three, I'm about yeah, definitely inside the dock areas off. in the housing. That's going to be the Lexus that they were talking about right there. It looks like shattered windows, but I think it's snow. Yeah, that's definitely snow. God damn, I didn't know you can go into the houses over here. That's not it. Do you know where it's at? Uh, apparently it pinged at this location. There's a uh, silver Lexus that's just idle. Uh, I wasn't really paying attention if there's anybody in it, but it's idle right by that. Uh, yeah, right I saw it over corner there under the property. underhang. Um, unless it's on this other side over here somewhere, then I, I don't see it. I've gone up and down, uh, down where that Tahoe's going. Uh, nothing so far. Okay, they could have left then. Yeah, that's possible. Uh, I'm going to try to call it to the units uh, that have the computer that we're getting the initial ping to see if they can try to ping it again and see if it has left this area. Okay, yep, that works. We can see if uh, we could go down. Let's go down to that house, Spoon Bill, and see if we can the, uh, knock on that door and see if anyone's seen that car pass by. Can you guys try to get another ping off of it? Uh, so far, we're not seeing anything in the area near 707. We got multiple officers in the area. So what I'm going to try to do here is talk to the people at this house just to see if there is anyone that has possibly seen the stolen vehicle in this area. One King 24, do you copy that? One King 24, can you 10-9? I'm about to knock on this door. Ma'am, how's it going? The unit had advised that uh, the vehicle possibly Hello? got to a 10 the officer. Uh, he's going to advise us. Give, give us early. some distance, please. Four. I just can, wanted to see it? if you've seen a uh, black, uh, what is it, a Urus? Yeah, Lamborghini. Have you uh, seen TV. a black Urus come through here at all? I just woke up in my house and there's somebody inside. I don't know what's going on. Do you know the person inside? inside? I mean, the that's, it's your property. Do you want him in there or not? I don't... I would preferably not. Okay, we'll go ahead and remove him then. This is... You give us one We have, yeah, uh... Feel free. Come right in. Went to do the knock and talk, and I guess there's a subject inside the house that she doesn't want there, so we're going to remove him from the property. Oh. You're inside. Come out with your hands up. Hey, ma'am, get, get outside for me. Can you get outside? Okay, one of them, one of them is my fiance. He is an off-duty. Okay, we got someone yelling, so let's go. Okay, 
All right, by the way, move we're coming way. up there. Just dangerous hot patrol. All right, sir, Stay, go downstairs, sir. Need you downstairs. Again, for an downstairs How many we got in there? One. Uh, unknown. Two on get thirty-three now. Make yourself known in there. What's, what's going on? Watch this door. How many people are in there? Why do you know? Get up I need house. to know. No, I, we What's got people on? downstairs saying that you don't live are, here and they don't want you uh, in here. Well, I live here. Okay, well, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? We're the You're Los Santos the Police Department. How can I help you, too? Okay, well, I need you to come out the door. Do you have any weapons uh, in there? What's going on, man? I have, a, I have, have, I have two in people inside the home saying you cannot be here. Nope. Do we have someone downstairs at a residence at 7 I don't know what to tell you, man. Uh, unknown. Uh, we got a He's gonna back up a little. Uh, get cover. Yeah, upstairs. upstairs better. Better. Okay, that's affirmative. You got four officers upstairs. Can we get someone to maintain downstairs? We get on the cross section. Come downstairs. Get on, uh, yeah, get on line of sight. Yeah, we're good. To Victor seven four four is downstairs in front. I'll go back. Dangerous hot patrol. Yeah. All right, hands up. Make yourself known. Uh, we need to make entry if they're gonna try to get outside. I think they're breaking a window. Who they are? Okay, we'll move, move in. Hands up, if we're, we're coming in. Okay, they went through a window. Okay. You need to advise that 707 uh, suspect possibly outside the property and broke the uh, upstairs bedroom window. Hey, subjects ran outside the window. I wonder if I can just go outside the window too, because you know they just have to that shit. Oh. Walking 24, I went out the window. I'm on the uh, alley. I don't see him. Are you, you got any eyes? Do you guys see anyone Where run out here? Come from? No, I heard a window smash. Okay, so you didn't see anyone run out the front? No. Negative. Uh, the, the two people that we out, removed though. from the home that are the owners did not see anyone run out the front, so he must have smashed and then went towards the back, towards the uh, lake. It was back there. I didn't know one came yeah, out that way. He, he probably broke right. a window and then went towards We're the fucking running. water there. Yeah, five, four, car, uh, we're feeling it. Hey, yeah, so, that's 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 Where? He's going on the other block. Yeah, sure, one, we we have one, multiple we law really enforcement good. officers over there, so you might have just saw. Yeah, that's okay. yeah. You're you, uh, <laughs> not everyone. Be a male subject. So you guys uh, did or did not know him? I'm a, I'm a little confused here. Okay, because he was acting very comfortable, like he belonged there. So we just woke up and the next thing okay. I know, I'm hearing voices in the house. I'm like, who the hell is in the house? And Do you know they got out of a car bed. or what? How they got uh, here or this anything? This is our car. That's not your car. Charlie no. 979. Okay, uh, this I, re I recognize this plate and I recognize this voice now that I seen the plate. I know exactly who this is. F5 wants to get up Shang Street back in round. I'm gonna, go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. Whatever game is going on here, I don't have time for it. <laughs> this cop's about to fucking lose his mind. Yeah, we're not going on. Uh, I live here. I live here. Okay, okay, just I'm, I'm gonna let both of y'all guys know. If you are involved, I will personally come put handcuffs on both of y'all. I swear to God, you need to pull Good that cop, bad out of your cop. asshole, sir. Like, I'm just woke up and there's somebody in my house. Fucking real. Alright, and that's why we're here. We're trying to figure it out, right? Uh, possibly injured, uh, maybe, oh, like, being, et cetera, uh, due to injuries, Everyone, uh, everyone, uh, you know, treats the level uh, of severity different. Window. So we're doing a full search. We'll get back to you guys. We'll remove this vehicle off your property so and. What is he? What? Why are you guys looking for him? If I may ask. We yeah. We are. I don't even know if we're looking for him. To be truthfully honest, we're looking for a stolen vehicle. It was pinged to this location. I come to knock on your door just to see if you've seen anyone that matches the vehicle description, and then you say someone's in your home. It is a little coincidental, so it might be the same person we're looking for, possibly. But at this um, moment, it's hard I can to tell. Go inside and see if I can get CCTV from the uh, security camera right yeah. there. Yeah, if you can uh, grab whatever you can, that's yeah, great. Five Delta one hundred six. I hear some uh, type of banging uh, going on just down the road from where you guys are at seven hundred seven. Can I get some more units? It sounds like somebody's banging around in uh, possibly a residence. All right, I appreciate it. Whiskey thirty one off. I'll show up for now. All right. Lucky 24, uh, I'll head down sir, do you live here as well, sir? Okay. Yes. Um, I'll be right back. Okay. What's your first and last name, sir? 
So we've got a possible, the suspect probably made his way down a little to another house. They hear someone yeah, uh, possibly got another banging. Home invasion, unknown location, but uh, the banging is not. There's some loud banging from one of these open houses. It's going to be CJ here, so. Is it you that's calling it out? Break, I have a man. Yeah, I heard. Bush, 699, Imagination Court. 699. You want to just get in? Yeah, it's going to be All right. right. Yep. I was going to say you could track star that shit, but nah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, fuck that shit, dude. Uh, six, can we nine, go nine, through nine, the alleyway eight. here? Yeah. Uh, no, we I have guess to. he's in a bush. Yeah, I just, there's a bridge we have to go over, so I guess we might as well go over that. Is he in the uh, housing over there, though? Uh, yeah. That area, and I think he's right above him. Okay, so this is going to be the subject I saw earlier, I think. I just have to hear his voice. So. Okay. Face the bush. What do you mean what I'm doing? I'm just Face the bush. Face the bush. Face the bush. What's going on? Bush, face it. He wants to talk about your bush. I'm telling you to face the bush. Alright, face the bush. You don't chat. You guys go straight to forest. Just chat with me, man. What's going on? The, the only chat that I'm doing is I'm bush. telling you to face the bush because right, so I'm about to detain you right this second. Because you match the description face of a suspect for a robbery. So oh. face the bush right now or you're just going to get tasered. So cooperate, please. Yeah. I'm just going up my walk. I don't see the That's totally here. fine. I understand you like to walk around don't shirtless, cry. 25 shirtless degrees. Walk. That's cool. In the snow. In the snow. Right. No shirt with an afro. Walking 24. We have one 10 15. We're going to head back over to... Uh, the original house of robbery. Anything on you? Yeah, where's he gonna nah, hide man, it? I, I, I got nothing, bro. Okay. You bleeding from something? Nah. Yeah, I got a little fucking cut earlier. From what? I tripped. Oh, you tripped? Yeah. Out of a window? Me, uh, nah, I'm not you break about. a window? Glass? Oh, said maybe I heard that. Breaking a window? So this nah, is definitely gonna be our suspect here. Uh, we caught him. Maybe Spoonbill happened to see him in a bush, so like I would that. say good eyes on that. Not sure how he used his cheating powers or whatnot. Um, but uh, at least we were able to find him. We had the air unit searching too, and they didn't even fucking locate him. So I would definitely say it's good that someone uh, saw them. That was a good ground search that we were doing. We were obviously covering all the bases there. Uh, we're going to head back over to the original scene, which I believe is going to be... Um, I don't know exactly where it's at. Oh, 707. Okay, so uh, right now we are code for uh, at 707. Everyone kind of has their duties, so we're going to take off from here and hit get back to the street so that way we have a s available supervisor. What the uh, fuck? This guy's coming in super same. quick. Can I get you something crap and shits? No, I'm good. Thanks, though. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's going on? Everything. You know, just hey. trying to get me oh, these motherfucking the taggers, bro. God damn it. I hit it again. Hit it like a bit it. I darn. Fucking A. I'm gonna have to go down to Grove Street now and talk to him. Oh, darn. Oh, God. I do kind of like that graffiti though, how it like, they could put up graffiti now on walls. And it's so easy to correlate it back if they're just gonna say Grove uh, yeah. on it. So let's go ahead and go down there and see if we could chat with these guys. See if there's even anyone on Grove Street on right now. Then again, it could have been a reciprocal gang that did it too to try to like get Grove Street in trouble. That could be possible. Because to be honest, I haven't seen anyone that's uh, baller or anything on the whole time. Oh, there is an SUV here. We are closing. That's a little extreme. You don't need to go 80 fucking one. That's a little extreme. I don't think you need to go that fast. Uh, sorry. Uh, code Niner Niner. Oh, yeah, you were blending in with the rest of them. How's yeah, it going? That's that's kind of the point. <laughs> What's up? Mom? So I'm I'm down there at the gas station, and I you know started smelling spray paint. So I went to the side of the uh, LTD there, and it says Grove Street for Life on the side, and it's a fresh tagging. Don't look at me on that one. That ain't me. Well, we should probably talk to the crew there and let them know that we should be a little smarter than to tag if we want our you know gang to make it longer than a, a day. Okay, all right. Yeah, there's nothing I could do about it. Obviously, I didn't see the person tagging. I just, I mean, if you guys are going to use the name 
you know, Grove Street, and you guys live on Grove, then we know what's up, right? I mean, I could sit here and tell these guys not to do shit and stuff like that, but at the end of the day... Well, just, just hear, hear me out then. When we have to come back here, don't get upset at us if we keep coming back here because everyone around you keeps making it hot. I mean, it's always hot down here. Officer. Well, it's, a, it's about to get spicier. It's crap and shits. Yeah. And this is uh, Spoonbill. All right. So I'll tell you off some crap and shits. It's always spicy down here. I know. I'm just saying don't make the don't make the flag fly any stronger, you know? Yeah, I get Flying you, Flying strong like a thong, you know what I'm saying? Oh, God. All right. You have a good oh, day. God. Just bad, bad joke. Okay, you have a you have a good day, sir. Is it a bad joke? You as well. Thank you so much. Good. Diving in route eight ten Popular Street. It's gonna be on ramp to I two. Popular Street. It's gonna be for person, I guess, just or something out of the window. It's gonna be for thirty two request. Copy. Do you say eight seven five? Eight one zero, sir. Copy in route. Okay, so we just got something that uh, guy just threw something out of the window. Go ahead. Be advised, it's going to be on the on ramp, sir, to the two. Okay, 10 4, appreciate it. Okay, so we've got someone that is on a traffic stop, just threw something out of the window, and he wants a uh, secondary unit here. So I have a feeling we're going to need to go down the exit and then go back up the on ramp here uh, on where he's going to be at, because the post was going to come up off the freeway. Okay. So we're going to need to go back on it. Copy, would you like to be attached to that one as well? Let's go ahead and take a look. Probably going to be on this big uh, loop here. Don't kill me, please. Good God. So I'm hoping it's going to be on this one. I'm not entirely sure. Yep, I was correct. Okay. Well, you had a good explanation on where it was, too. So I'm pretty sure he threw something over the uh, ledge here. Victor, Oscar. How's it going, sir? Oh, it's going over yourself. Doing good, doing good. So this uh, individual... Uh, was clocked doing over at least 90 miles an hour. Uh, he blew through an it's two intersections. Oh. God damn it, wrong car. I'm oh, listening. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. I didn't see that. Um, so the individual, he's been extremely reckless. He's not really cooperating, and he also just threw some sort of package off the interstate. Okay. Uh, Kyle here is going to go flip around and uh, see what it is. Okay. Uh, I'm also going to get him out of the vehicle and arrest him, but we're waiting for you to uh, get here. Okay, well, if he threw backup. something out of the vehicle over the uh, ledge there, we can at least get him out of the car. That way we uh, don't have him inside the vehicle as we're trying to attempt to figure out what it is. Uh, obviously, it could be a banana peel, but it also could be a you know bag of drugs, so better to have him out of the vehicle. We don't need to detain him as of yet until we get someone to radio in and let us know what it is, but let's get him out well, at he least. Gonna get arrested. He was going to get arrested anyway. Oh, well, let's get right, him out. Driving. Yeah. Is there someone already down there checking, too? No, Kyle, uh, the LCSO is about to go down. Okay, you go check down there so that way someone else doesn't pick it up. Yep. We're going to get him out. That way you can't use the phone. Okay, so this looks like this guy, and you, what was the uh, 15 for or going to be? Uh, reckless driving. Okay. That works. Oh. Okay. Hey, Danny. How many times is it occupied? Uh, one time. Okay. Danny. This guy's gonna be 15 for reckless driving, and then he threw something over the ledge. Down whatever you're smoking. Okay. I'll be back. Uh, okay. Get your right one side. I'll come right out. Right right. Step out the vehicle for me. Come on, man. What are you doing in there? What is he doing? Seems like he's smoking something. Put the grab it out of his Danny, hands. Put it down. Uh, all right, I'm covered. Hey, I'm covered, guys. Yeah, you need to get out of the car because you're under arrest right now. So I need you to listen before we grab another charge. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm coming, Come on. officer. Hey, don't reach around in that car. Come on, out you go. Let's just step out. I'm, What's your name, Danny? Uh, uh, okay. There you go. I'm good. Face your vehicle. Right, go ahead and face your vehicle. I swear to God, he just had something in his hands. I, I know he's going to poke me, stick me, stab me, blow me up, bite me. Uh, I think I got a needle on my front pocket, and then there's a knife on my belt. Monkey24, we're going to have one uh, detained here at 810. It, it should be. 
should be. Alright, right. copy one detained eight one zero. It ain't poking me, so I'm guessing yeah. Hey, Spoon Bill, keep an eye out down there because there's uh, people rolling up. Okay, and we have one officer down there. He's trying to pick up whatever that guy threw, so maybe it would be a best idea to go down there and give him some assistance. Unless he's done. Okay, you got him secure so I can take off and help for that. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take off from here. Okay, we're gonna uh, self clear, and we're gonna be available. Copy. That way they can attach me if they need it. Okay, so we're going in for a code five right now, uh, just five down the street. It's about two blocks. No one else was answering to the radio transmission, so we're gonna go down there to assist. Uh, it is literally right down the road. Oh shit. We are closing. Oh, he's taking off, too. Hey, we're going for it. Oh, everyone relax. Everyone relax. Okay, so we're going to be secondary. Monkey 24 secondary, northbound popular 767. Oh, that truck's going to lose it. Holy shit. Westbound popular. We're going to be getting onto a freeway here. Stand by for direction. Eastbound Del Piro, freeway 611. Copy. Okay, so that truck has, <laughs> that truck looks like it's having some problems right now. We got to get around traffic. Okay. Eastbound Del Perro Freeway 767. All right, got ourselves a pursuit. Not sure what this is over exactly. There was a code five. I'm not sure exactly what for. Uh, once we get a direction of travel on the freeway, transition to a new fray freeway. It's going to be northbound Palomino Freeway 773. Gonna be doing a U-turn here. Westbound Palomino Freeway, we're taking another split standby for direction. Be northbound to Postal 772. Okay, it's just gonna be me and another unit right now. Northbound Del Perro Freeway 767, gonna be taking the Mir Park exit. We're gonna be uh, westbound Popular Street heading into Vinewood. We're gonna have three units on the pursuit if we get one more. Ooh, fuck. God damn it. Five Delta 11, get him behind, slowly. Five Delta 2 zone, I'll be advised. I'm in row. I'm a little bit far behind. Southbound Alta 617. Now we're gonna be on um, westbound Occupation Avenue. Southbound Los Angeles Boulevard, 619. Copy that. Oh. It's going to be Upper Popular Street, uh, 743. Speeds are at uh, 70 to 80. We're slowing down a little bit. North Power Street, 747. He's back in correct uh, lanes. Southbound Southbound Elgin Avenue 748 just past Pillbox if you can uh, catch him when he slows down on a corner, we can go ahead and perform a pit. We're going to now be westbound Adams Apple Boulevard, 745. And thankfully, it's a truck, so he's not going too fast. Adams Apple Boulevard, 733. Oh, did air unit have call-outs now? Right down on Police Avenue, 725. Okay, so we can focus on the pursuit. We're secondary, and we can assist with a takedown. If the primary can go ahead and get in there and get a pit. This is going to help tremendously having the air unit that's doing callouts right now. Oh, he's going to attempt a pit. Just We're just going to be ready. Now, going in circles in the intersection of South Rockford Drive and Northbound Mount 7. Might as well just take over for a second. If he wants to take back over, that's fine. Considering now northbound still, just passing uh, the GPD. He was trying to turn there, but did not yeah, have enough brakes to be able to do it. 
Okay, so we're gonna be uh, primary now. I'm gonna see if I can get him on a uh, pit here, but Left the snow is pretty heavy, but we should be able to tap that back end pretty easily here. Just gotta get through some of this traffic. God damn, this is gonna get crazy. Come on, bro, just pull over, pull over. You don't gotta do this. That was a solid pit. Oh, good one, good one, good one, good one. No, no, no. Oh, shit, I just got ribbity rammed. He's still going? Are you kidding me? This guy's a fucking warrior. Okay, so we're going to now be in a fourth position in the pursuit. Hopefully, oh, that was a great pit. Right into the building. He's yeah, running. Oh, uh, shit. Spoon Belter, he's got a gun. I think he has a gun. Careful. He's got a gun. Drop it, bro. Drop it. It's not worth it, dude. Here, get cover. Get cover. Make sure we're all in shouts so we're not shouting over each other. Right behind you, Denozo. Copy. Hey man, if you can hear us, you need to drop that weapon and let us know that you dropped it. I am out. Okay, did you drop it because you're it, you're uh, pointing and shit? Point at this time. Seems to be compliant. Throw your hands up in the air. Get on your knees. You did. Get on your knees. Come on, man. Cooperate and get on the ground. Get on your knees. I'm gonna. Here, I'm gonna switch on. Okay, you're good. Wait, I can't. Never mind. Okay, uh, here, hand me your uh, rifle up. and just go up without it. Okay, here. Hey, I'm gonna switch it on. Bro, if you move, you're gonna get fucking tased. Don't move. That was a good pursuit. We had a good ass fucking pits on that doing? car. Unfortunately, it just didn't work until the uh, end bit when we got him blocked there. Oh my god. Clear to, clear to lift. Yeah, we just Fucking A. Hey. Fucking good ass pickup. pursuit is always fun, dude. And that was definitely one of them. He was going like relatively okay slow speeds, so that's what makes it a little more thrilling yeah. and engaging when they're not going super fucking fast the whole time. So definitely solid. Monkey 24, this suspicion of DUI that I'm heading out to, that's going to be on the uh, exit ramp. But. Yeah, copy that. It's going to be on the off ramp. We're on GoPro Freeway. Uh, it's going to be right to the left of the uh, movie theater. I think it's it. Copy, I got you. Okay, we're going to be on scene of this uh, possible DUI. Looks like they have one 1015 right now. Um, I think I might have saw this guy driving around prior as well, too. To the fuck, these two CH, uh, or sorry, SHP units look so good together. What is he wearing? Howdy. How's it going? Oh my uh, god, another one. I'll talk to you back here real quick. <laughs> another one. That's okay. Good to see you too, sir. God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's not really a happy camper. What's um, uh, what's the deal with them? So I got him stopped uh, for black light or purple headlights. It looks like purple headlights that he's got on his vehicle. Uh, it was nighttime when I stopped him and he was cruising down the highway. Um, and I mean, you could see him from miles away. So I stopped him for that. And then uh, I got another unit on scene because it was dark. Uh, and his window tint's really dark. I could barely see through it. And uh, there was the smell of weed, and there was uh, visible alcohol containers inside the vehicle uh, when the other unit walked up. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure how strong the, the weed smell is, but of course that's you know probable cause to get him out of the car and whatnot. Um, he said he doesn't consent to a search of his vehicle. There is alcohol containers in there, though. Uh, I'm not sure if they are open, uh, but we're trying to figure that out. I already have his citation written up for the, the headlights. Um, okay. Does uh, did he, did he say that he has weed in there or that he smoked earlier or anything? Uh, he said that he smoked, I believe, the day before. That's what he said. And then I asked okay. him if he smoked in the car, and I don't think he answered that question. Uh, and he's just not really happy about being detained further. I understand. Uh, and, you, know, you know, got out of the car and all that stuff. Okay, so... If you smell weed in there, then that gives us probable cause to search. So we can go ahead and continue the search on his vehicle. In the midst of that, we can check to see if those alcohol containers are opened or closed and kind of just go from there after. 
Absolutely. Yeah, I assume he's not going to be too too thrilled about that since he said he didn't get consent. But yeah, since we well, got he that, lost his consent gone. after he yeah. his vehicle smells like weed. So does yeah, it smell absolutely. like um, nugs of weed, like you know, flour, or does it smell burnt, like it's been lit up? Uh, I believe it was just the smell of weed in the air. I don't think it smells burnt. I think it's just the just, just kind of just a, the smell of weed yeah. in general. Okay. All right. Well, just as if we were to be able to smell alcohol protruding from the vehicle, that would be the same. Um, but I was just curious if it was burnt or sitting. So if you want to conduct the search, that's fine. I'll have a chat with them and see. I will do. Okay. Okay. How are we doing today? Uh, been better? Good. better. Yeah, I can what, say. What's, uh, what's making it a, a bad day? Just the fact that you're talking with these guys? Um... Honestly, I had a really good day yesterday. Today okay. it's been more of a. Eh. It's, it's not, not even so them. good. It's just all yeah, you know, good days, bad days. Okay, so off the bat, so we can not play games here. Have you have you smoked any weed or anything like that today? Uh, Sunday I was in Blaine County because that's where I pick up the car. It's like a new car. Um, early Sunday, late friends. Sunday. Uh, midday Sunday. Smoked the joint in the car, you know, hanging around a little bit. Um, but that was it. Were you that were you happens. in the car when you smoked? Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's most likely why it smells so strong in there still. Yeah, I mean, I smoke cigarettes as well. It might be the whole thing. Um, well, it's also beer. snowing, so if you're going to keep your windows up at night so you don't get snow in your car, that means you're not going to air it out. So it's going to just stick around, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, the beer is from last night is not open at all. So. Okay, so that's obviously our concern here. I think you guys might have all started out on the wrong foot at some point. So they're just here to do their job. Obviously, if we have no reason to mess with you, we don't want to mess with you, right? But we want to make sure you're operating your vehicle safely and not under the influence of any drugs or alcohol or anything. So are the oh, are the alcohol containers in there? They're closed or open? Uh, they're closed, and, uh, I mean, there's just a bunch of shit that I grabbed from my, uh, my sister's apartment up there in the okay. back, and, yeah. And so you think there's maybe any weed left over from your guys' smoking session yesterday? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if there was. Okay. Um, just a small amount, probably, it is right? What it is. Yeah, yeah, I'm not carrying pounds around. Okay. All right, well, if that's the case, I don't, you know, I don't see you, uh, did you guys have something else on them? Besides that, or what's exactly going on? So, when the original trooper went up there, he couldn't smell much, but when I head up the vehicle, I smell some weed, not too much. So that's the reason for detainment, though? Yeah. Okay, so if, if my uh, calculations are correct here, sir, um, as long as everything checks out, you don't have pounds of weed, you know, hidden inside a seat or something like that, then uh, I see you probably getting out here, out of here with just a citation for the traffic issue that you probably did, which got their attention in the first place. So as long as everyone stays, you know, calm and cooperative, then I, I don't see this being a big deal at all, you know? Honestly, I've been chilled the whole traffic stop. Okay. So. All right. Well, if that's the case, fantastic. I haven't been here, so I'm not entirely oh, sure no, what yeah. has happened. Yeah. It's just the fact that I'm in handcuffs when I, understand. I don't feel the need. It's know? just procedure at this point because we weren't sure if you were under the influence of the marijuana that they were smelling inside the vehicle or if it was just inside the vehicle. So just common procedure once we have someone step out for a possible DUI to detain them and kind of go from there, you know? It's for your safety and ours because that way if you happen to get up, at least we know you're not going to go reaching for a weapon or anything, so. Oh, no, yeah. I, I can't, can't carry again. So. You've been to prison before? Oh, no, I'm just too stressed out to have a weapon. Too stressed, okay. I prefer not to. That's a good uh, good judgment call on your side, then. Yeah, you know, alternative to not do shit. Well, maybe next time you guys smoke and, uh, you know, have a little smoky session, probably try to find a place other than your vehicle so that way it doesn't stick around to the next day. You know, snowy... It was a, it's a brand new car. I mean, look at the car. Well, then why it's are you it. smoking in it then if it's brand new? Um, some people party with, you know, alcohol. I party with. No, I, I get it. I get it. 
You don't have like uh, no one's house or anything that you can smoke in. It was a it was a moment. Oh, situation. like an impromptu smoke sesh. Mm -hmm. no, I get it. I get it. Hey, sit tight with this trooper here. I'm gonna see what's going on. It, it looks like it's just a small amount of weed. Probably just like not even, not even a gram. It's just you know uh, small. It's left inside the vehicle. Not even enough to you know make up the joint. Okay. Uh, it looked like there was nothing missing from the, uh, the alcohol containers. Uh, they're just in the cup holder there. They're closed. So, uh, okay. As that goes, I mean, don't really got any issues. All right. If that's the Five case, dollars. then uh, what did you say the original uh, stop was for? Uh, black light slash purple headlights. Okay. He purple said they were black light headlights, but they look purple. So most likely just a citation for that then? Yeah, I already got that Five written dollars. up. Okay, I'll have your partner here kick him loose out of the handcuffs, and we'll let him sit back in his vehicle then, and you can get uh, that issue to him. Yeah, that works. Okay, all right, if you want to release him. So I appreciate your honesty when uh, speaking to me. Obviously, everything correlated with what we found in the vehicle. Probably a good idea when you get done here, go, you know, take a vacuum to it all, clean it up a little. Oh, no, yeah, I'm going home. Um... I'm going to clean up the car, leave it out of the garage. Yeah. Probably a good idea. All right. Well, that's the case. I'm going to take off here, so I hope things get a little better for you then. All right? You have a good day. Appreciate it. All right, troopers. Have a good one. All right. We're taking off here. It looks like there was a uh, minor discrepancy. This guy had a mini party inside of his car last night. They smoked. It stuck around. He has a little bit of weed, residual weed left over. Not even enough for a joint. So uh, nothing that we really have to worry about here. So we'll be 10-8. The guy's going to be issued a citation for the um, for the colored lights that he has in the front. Um, obviously, he assumed that they were going to be legal. I'm not. I haven't looked at the penal code in a hot minute regarding those. But I thought they were. Oh, maybe it's underglow that's legal. I'm not sure. But that's going to be where we wrap this episode of DOJRP up. Get it in here. I would say it was a pretty good episode. I had to actually record this on two different days. So I can't remember what happened in the first one too much. Uh, but the second one, we had a really good pursuit there and a nice uh, call with this one. So we're going to be 10-7, 10-42. That's going to be where we wrap it up. So thank you so much for coming out and watching this episode of DOJRP. And we will see you next video.